Today I will show you three different ways how you can create a smoke in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's create some smoke. Today we will have fun with uh, these two images on which we will apply smoke effect and we will use this cloud and these clouds here to create a smoke brush. But we will do that a little bit later. First I want to show you the easiest way how you can create smoke in Photoshop. And for that you will need to create a new empty layer, use a black and white or white and black color for foreground and background and just go to the filter, render and clouds. And Photoshop will create or render some different clouds effect here and you can use that. If you don't like the position or the shape of the clouds, you can always go again, filter render and again clouds, etc, etc. Or press Ctrl F on a keyboard as many times as you want to repeat that filter effect. And if you change the colors from black and white to some other two colors, you will have those two colors here. But for the clouds, it's black and white. And now just put this uh, layer into the screen blending mode and voila, you will have a lot of smoke here. Of course, you can add a layer mask, use a brush a little bit softer, like 0%, really soft brush, and you can erase the clouds, maybe change the opacity and erase those clouds that are actually now a smoke here, wherever you think it's too much. And that's it. As you can see before and after, before and after really nice effect and it's really really easy the second method i will delete this and i will use again uh, empty layer the second method is just with the ordinary soft brush in photoshop use a soft brush with white color like this 100 percent pasty okay just use this and this is more to creating a fog in photoshop or mist or something like so but you can use it sometimes for some kind of uh, smoke okay just go here and change the brush mode from normal to second one this low okay and you will have some strange effect now as you can see a lot of these dots you need to change the opacity maybe to 10 percent or so and add these dots where you need to be some some smoke okay and i will add few layers here to have a little bit more dense smoke and a little bit less here, something like so. You can always erase it later and just blur this layer filter, blur Gaussian blur. And as you can see, we have a great, great effect. If you blur it less, you will have something like, like this. If you blur it even more, something like so, or even more something like mist, etc., etc. It's really, really nice. You can achieve some great result with this trick. Sometimes you need some small effect of uh, smoke, I don't know, of this mist coming let's let's use this just a small effect like so i don't know for some other image but it's not good for this but just to, to let to show you the the effect here gaussian blur and see you can create some some interesting smoke effect and i use this method a lot in my photo manipulations this brush and just blur it and create some interesting smoke or or mist uh, effect all right, now let's go and create a custom smoke brush that will be more dense and look more like a smoke. So for that, I will use the cloud image. Let me show you this one. First, I will use, let me first use the, the this one. It's a little bit easier. I will cut with the lasso tool, just the part of this cloud that I want to use as a brush, maybe only this. And control command J to cut it out and I can hide this. Okay. And now what I want to do, I want to go to the channels and I want to find the most contrastier channel and that's the red one. And press Ctrl Command L on the keyboard to bring the level dialog box and just make this dark part really, really dark. Something like, like so, it's okay. And press okay. And then what we need to do is just go click on that red channel, oh, sorry big mistake and that's I need to duplicate this red channel because I will mess the image color but actually we, we will not use the color but never mind just to know that you need to duplicate the red channel just go and place the red channel on your layer here okay now again levels make it darker like so and that's it and you can 
go here all around like so it doesn't matter okay and this one too oops this one too and i will invert the selection and fill everything with black and now we have only this this selection here okay and i will use a brush black brush and paint yeah but i need to put it in normal bending mode and i will now paint all over this because i don't want hard edges here like so that's really nice and now let's go to rgb channel here press control hold control or command key and just click on a red copy here because you will now load this red selection go to the layers and just press Control command j and if we hide all this you will see that you will have only this cloud let me show you this a little bit better let's add a black layer down below just to see this cloud that's nice and we need to convert this cloud to black and white it has a little bit of a bluish tint to convert it to black and white the easiest way is to use a keyboard shortcut it's shift Control u or shift command u on a keyboard okay and that's it now we need to invert the cloud Control command i and let's get rid of all these layers because we don't need them like so and we can of course crop this just to have this layer all right and when we are finished with that just go here to edit and define brush preset and we can name this uh, brush as clouds cloud oh sorry not cloud the uh, smoke <laughs> we are turning cloud into smoke okay smoke i will name it just smoke all right and if i press press b on a keyboard as you can see i have this smoke brush now created from our cloud all right and now let me go to this image and if i make a new layer and start to paint here let's zoom it a little bit start to paint here you see mm, it's not so good maybe it's good when i put it once but if i put it like a stroke it's not so good we need to change a little bit brush properties press f5 on a keyboard or just go here doesn't matter and let's go to the shape dynamics we want to change the size jitter all the way up to have a different size in each stroke and angle jitter a little bit uh, of course you can play with angle jitter to find the best angle for your needs and that means that every brush will have a different angle as you can see here now it's already better but it's not there yet and let's go to scattering let's Add a scatter just a little bit maybe it's too much let me see maybe like so and that's better and go to color dynamics i like this foreground to background jitter because it will change foreground to background color to our smoke here if i put it all the way up you will see difference between black and white combination of colors as you can see but that's not something that we want we want only small amount of that maybe 10 yeah something like so or maybe a little bit more 15 13 i don't know that's that's good now it's even better and one more time uh, one more thing it's here transfer if you have a pen pressure tablet uh, tablet sensitivity uh if you if you have a tablet with the pen pressure sensitivity you can enable here uh, as default itself you can enable pen pressure here and control you can enable pen pressure too if you don't have it don't worry you can use the mouse and just change the opacity of the brush every time you want to have a little bit more uh, opaque brush okay and that's basically it now we are finished with the brush and if i press really really slowly i will have smoke like that if i press a little bit harder i will have smoke like that and we can now add some smoke here maybe smoke it's coming from the machine here something like so change the size all the time and just slowly add some smoke if you want the smoke to be darker you can change the base color not to be white but some darker or you can change go again to color dynamics and foreground to background jitter just change it to touch to have some darker okay and now you have a great effect with the smoke brush here okay 
and let me show you before and after it's really really nice smoke you can make it really really realistic all right and i will show you another with uh, another cloud this one to make another brush that will have even more interesting smoke like this cloud here for that we will crop this to make it bigger like so and the original brush i want to touch on touch off i don't want to touch okay i want to crop this cloud like so just delete it right i don't need this i just need to duplicate this control command j press control command t right click flip vertical and just put it here and then right click and flip flip horizontal sorry and that's it and now we can just select both of them Control command e to merge it together crop it like so and use maybe healing brush to make on this healing brush to fix this yes but let me see what is the brush that's good okay and just to fix this edge a little bit nothing special just to have a little bit better edge like so that's great we can add something here all right and again it's the same procedure go to the channels go to the red one duplicate the channel don't forget to duplicate control command l and just make it a lot darker like so all right if you don't want these edges just use a black brush there's a normal brush brush not this cloud okay the black brush and just fix fix this and that's it we can change something here right and now we have great selection all right go here control command click on the red copy go to the layer control command j we can remove this invert it control command i and shift control or shift command u to make it black and white and that's good now we can go to edit define brush preset and we can name uh, bigger or no just cloud again smoke smoke number two okay and now we have our smoke brush and again the same procedure let's go here create a new layer let's uncheck this for a moment and again we need to do the same process that we did with the previous brush if we paint it like so it's not good press f5 on the keyboard go to the shape dynamics size jitter all the way up angle jitter let's use all the way up scattering let's scatter it a little bit like so maybe it's too much we will see okay okay like so then go to color dynamics something like so it remember previous setup and that's good so let's make some interesting smoke here let me see that's nice some oh it's too big some bigger smoke here Okay, it's not bad at all. Like this, maybe, maybe to change the color dynamics a little bit. Like this. Okay. And you can see it's not bad. Let's make another smoke here. It's really, really interesting. You can create a lot of fun smoke results from this brush you can find maybe a better clouds uh, more interesting clouds and convert it to custom smoke brush and that will give you even better result but let me show you before and after before and after it's really interesting maybe we need to add a little bit more white color here uh, to these clouds but you got a point all right and that's it guys for today i hope that you understand how you can create smoke in photoshop you can use photoshop default filter a render and then clouds use black and white color then put it in screen blending mode and play with that you can use normal brush put it in uh, this low mode and then blur that a little bit or you can use some clouds to create a custom smoke brush and apply it on your images you can really create great effect with that so if you have any questions at all, please leave me in the comment below. I will be glad to answer them. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.
If you want to see some of my behind the scenes and work in progress videos like this one here, you can find it on my Instagram story. You can find the link of my Instagram page down there in the description and just follow me there. See you guys next week. Bye bye.